Have you ever heard of someone giving up on their actuarial journey? Maybe it was taking too long, it was getting too hard, or they had trouble finding a job. Well, in this video, you are going to learn my best piece of advice so that this doesn't happen to you. By the way, I'm Bria, associate of the Society of Actuaries and founder of the Actuary Accelerator community, where we train future actuaries how to become top candidates so they can get their first actuarial job as quickly as possible. Now let's get into the video. Three, two, one, go. One of the biggest reasons that people end their actuarial journey decide to quit is because they are stressed out. A lot of the time they have maybe failed two or three actuarial exams in a row. They are feeling stressed. It stresses them out. Sometimes it starts taking up so much of their time they end up having no time for themselves anymore and it stresses them out. Sometimes they are looking for help but they just feel really stuck and they have no one to go to and that stresses them out. Many of these future actuaries decide that the stress of getting through the actuarial journey is just not worth the end goal because of all this stress that they have to go through. So my number one piece of advice for you future actuary is to reduce the amount of stress in your actuarial journey as much as possible. And this will help you drastically increase your chances of actually making it all the way through. Imagine being able to go through this journey with a minimal amount of stress. It will just have such a big impact on your life in the short term and the long term. You can skip things like the tiredness, the overwhelm. A lot of those things you can mitigate if you are intentional about reducing the stress in your actuarial journey. You can reduce the chances of mental illness, anxiety, weight gain, headaches, and soreness. All of these are things that are naturally caused by stress. So the more you can reduce them, the easier it is going to be for you to get through your actuarial journey, but also the better it's going to be for your long-term health, which is something that I am very, very, very passionate about. I want to make sure that everyone going through their actuarial journey makes sure to take care of themselves along the way as well. So now the question is, how do you do that? How do you reduce the amount of stress stress in your actuarial journey. Well, in this video, I'm going to share three tips with you that I have shared with many other future actuaries and that have worked for me in other areas of my life. Unfortunately, I was not very good at reducing the amount of stress in my own actuarial journey. And now looking back on it, I see how that had a major effect on me throughout the journey that I went through. However, you know yourself way better than I do. So there might be things that you're already doing or things that you can think of that would also help you reduce the amount of stress in your actuarial journey. So what I strongly, strongly strongly encourage you to do is constantly be aware of how you're feeling with this. Are you feeling stressed? Are you feeling overwhelmed? Constantly be thinking about that maybe every day before you go to bed or every morning when you wake up. Think about is your actuarial journey stressing you out? Is it making you feel overwhelmed? Because if it is, then you really need to start being intentional about figuring out how you can reduce that amount of stress. And there are so many different things you can do depending on what specifically it is that is causing you this stress. If it's spending too much time on it, that's causing you stress, there's different things you can do to help reduce the amount of time that you're spending. But if you are not aware of the fact that it is really stressing you out, then you're probably going to keep going and going and going. You're going to get burnt out. You're going to feel more stressed. You're going to eventually probably want to quit. And that is obviously not what you want for your actuarial journey. So be aware of these things and try to do whatever you can to mitigate that stress in your life. Uh, for me specifically, one thing that really stressed me out was never feeling like I was doing enough. I I always knew that I needed to be working on my actuarial goals, but there were so many other things going on in my life. I was playing soccer, I was working, I was going to school, uh, babysitting, trying to have a boyfriend at that time. So I was trying to spend time with him and I just had family that I wanted to spend time with. And there were so many other things going on in my life that my actuarial goals ended up being pushed further and further back. So I was constantly feeling this pressure, this stress that I wasn't doing enough on my actuarial goals. And I know that was part of why it was so hard for me is just because I couldn't get over that hurdle but I never took the time to really realize that in the moment and say what can I do to fix this so that it isn't so stressful for me I wish I had okay so let's get into those three tips that I have for you so the first one is and maybe this is something you've heard me say before but I think it's really important to reiterate it over and over again so that everyone that watches this channel again and again and again really remembers these things so first is to take intentional breaks in the short term and the long term. So if you are studying for an exam, I highly encourage you to plan one day per week where you are not studying. Maybe it's Saturdays, you are not going to study at all because that is your 
day off to just do whatever you want, get caught up on some other things that you have on your plate and just forget about studying. And this will help you really refresh. It helps you give you something to look forward to a day where you just get to relax, do the things you enjoy again. So that will really help you to stay motivated with your studying and keep your brain fresh. And also this is true for the long term. I know there are lots of future actuaries out there that want to pass exam after exam after exam after exam so you can get done as quickly as possible. However, if you are feeling stressed and overwhelmed and just fed up with this whole thing, burnt out, then you are probably not going to finish at all. So it's better for you to take things a little bit slower so that you actually can achieve the goal in the long term. So I highly recommend that you do not take any more than two exams in one year. That allows you some time to study for one exam, hopefully pass it because you're going to be giving yourself enough time. Then you give yourself a break, maybe a month, maybe two months, and then you start studying for another exam. And that month to two month break in between the exams will really help you to just rejuvenate, refresh, help you reduce the amount of overwhelm and burnout in your actuarial journey. Remember, this is not a race. This is something that you are trying to complete for your career, for your life, for yourself, all that sort of stuff. It doesn't have to be done in two, three, four years. It is a long-term goal. Another thing that kind of fits with this is to make sure you're getting enough sleep. The quality of your studying is going to be so much better if you are getting enough sleep. If you are barely able to remember anything, if you're thinking incorrectly because you're so tired, you are not going to have studying that is as efficient as it could be. So you really want to make sure you're getting that sleep in so that the quality of your studying can be really high and you have to do less of it. It's kind of the best of both worlds. My next piece of advice for you, advice number two or tip number two, is to get the help that you need on this journey. This is not something that you need to do on your own and that is something that I kind of tried to do. I tried to do this on my own without getting more help and eventually once I got further into my actuarial journey I did start to reach out for help more often and it was so beneficial I wish I had done it earlier. So if you start on your actuarial journey very early on getting help from people like other people that are going through this actuarial journey from professors, guidance counselors, maybe become a member of the actuary accelerator community. Whatever you can do to get that support is really going to help. Um, when I talk about getting support for the actuarial career I really like to bring up an example of a real estate agent. So imagine that you are someone that is going to buy a house for the very first time much like you are going through your actuarial journey for the very first time. Now when you go to buy a house for the very first time it can feel extremely overwhelming. You've never done it before. You have no idea really what things to look for. You have no idea what the community and the atmosphere is like around the houses that you are looking for. You have maybe no idea how much room you need in the house. Maybe you don't know what price range seems reasonable for the houses that you are looking for. There is just so much unknown when you are going into the housing market and trying to buy your first house. Well, that's where a real estate agent comes in. A real estate agent is someone that has done this over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. They have helped so many people through this process of buying their first house. So you can imagine all the expertise, the knowledge that they have been able to gain through all that experience that is going to be able to help you get through your journey of buying your first house quickly, smoothly, and with the least number of bumps as possible. The real estate agent will be able to help advise you on what neighborhoods might be good depending on your goals, what kind of houses might be good depending on your goals. Um, they will be able to help you through the paperwork, all the legal stuff, because they've done it so many times. And that support going through a process like that for the very first time is invaluable. It could save you thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. It could save you tons and tons and tons of time. So the same thing kind of applies on your actuarial journey. If you go into it with the mindset that this is the first time that I'm going through this journey and it's probably going to be the only time you're only going to go through this journey once. The more support you can get along the way, the higher your chances are of actually being successful, but you're also going to be able to do it with the minimal amount of bumps, hurdles, stress as possible. So reach out to those people that you know that can help you with your actuarial journey. And don't be afraid to invest in it either. Sometimes I see future actuaries hesitant to invest in these study materials or maybe the actuary accelerator community or other programs that can help you succeed. But in the long run, this little investment at the beginning is going to pay off so huge in your actuarial career later on. You really got to think in the long term here. Okay, so now let's get into the third tip here. And I think I spoiled this one a little bit earlier, but it is just to reset your mindset. Reset how you are thinking about this. This is not a race. There is no finish line that you have to pass before someone else. There is no reward or prize for finishing quicker than someone else. This is your own journey 
journey and you don't have to rush through it. You can start working in the actuarial career before you've passed all the exams. You just need two or three typically. If you want more details about what you really need in order to get an actuarial job, then go check out this video, which I will also link down below in the description. But this doesn't need to be something that is stressing you out. Take it slow, take it easy. Remember the tortoise and the hare. The tortoise is slow, the hare is fast, but the tortoise ends up winning. And that can be you. It doesn't need to be a race. One thing that was really hard for me was failing exams. But now looking back at it, I wish I had a little bit of a different mindset on it. I saw a quote a little while ago and I'm not 100% sure who said it or where I even saw it, but it was something along the lines of, actually I think it was on the a board outside of an elementary school, it said something along the lines of failure is just success in progress. And I really like that quote because it kind of means that each failure along the way is not really a failure. That's not the end goal. It's just one little blip that is going to get you to success eventually. So even if you fail exam, even if something doesn't go the way you wanted it to on your actuarial journey, that is just a learning process for you that you needed to go through in order to reach that final destination of passing the exam or getting your actuarial job or becoming a fully qualified actuary. If you are someone that likes to see these things every single day in order to be reminded of them, I would highly recommend that you write it on a sticky note, put it on your mirror, put it on your laptop right in the corner so that you are constantly being reminded of that mindset that you want to have throughout your actuarial journey. And having those reminders there all the time will help keep it fresh in your mind and make sure that you're constantly keeping it there. Another thing that I do just want to say within this tip is to have a routine. I think that's really beneficial if you're studying for actuarial exams or even just working on your actuarial goals in general. I would highly recommend having a routine so that you know exactly what time within every day of your week you are going to be spending time on your actuarial goals aside from that one day off that you're going to take every week to refresh and relax. You want to know when you're going to fit things in and having a routine like maybe you, I don't know, go to work, eat lunch, study for an hour, go to work and then study for two hours when you get home. Maybe that's your routine, but the more you can stay consistent with that day to day, the easier it is going to be to fit it in and just make it feel like it is no option. There's no option other than this is what you do. It's just the thing you do. I think I've kind of got into that habit with going for walks every day. I have gone for a walk almost every single day because it's just part of my routine. I feel off if I don't go for a walk throughout the day. So I always make intentional time for that. And you can do the same for your studying or whatever it may be that you're working on in your actuary goals. Okay, so letting myself get stressed out throughout my actuarial journey was just one of the mistakes that I made. So if you want to know more of those mistakes so that you can avoid them, make sure you go watch this video next. I will link it down below in the description as well, and I will see you in two weeks. Bye for now! reward or 